Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. If you sell on platforms like eBay or Poshmark, you're in the right place. We're going to take a closer look at popular clothing brands selling on eBay and see what's worth reselling. Today we'll show you the percent sell-through rate, price range, and different tags for various Abercrombie & Fitch men's clothing. Let's learn about bolos and see which categories sell the fastest. I calculated the sell-through rate for all of the men's clothing. There were 12,000 sales and 32,000 listings, which gave us a sell-through rate of 38%. So this includes all the different categories that we're going to cover. I also have a few different tag samples here. Some of these are more modern. There's the t-shirt tags. Here's some t-shirt designs you may have seen. We're gonna start with jeans. So sell-through rate is 57% for jeans, which is higher than the overall. Price range is between 10 and $40. You can see most of the solds were at 30 or less. And I have a current sold here for $23. And I have a few vintage examples as well. These are vintage boot cut and flare jeans for men. These sold for about $30. And here's the tags, vintage stretch, 90 slim. This is actually an older tag. As you can see, men's button up shirts have a lower sell through rate at 23%. Price range is also under $30, most of them selling between $15 and $20. This is a soft plaid flannel button-up shirt that sold for $25, $5.99 shipping. And if you take a look down here, you can see the embroidered logo that you'll find on a lot of Abercrombie shirts. These shirts sold for $20 each. So instead of taking a look at all the shorts, we focused on cargo shorts. The sell to rate was 41% and prices vary depending on the type of cargo that you find. Most of them were selling between $30 and $40. And we have a distressed cargo short here that sold for $29. I have some vintage examples as well. This is a vintage paratrooper cargo short. This sold for $40 at $8.99 shipping. And I also have another vintage camo cargo short that sold for $77. And this one actually came with a belt. So the paratrooper tag is right here. You can see it says cargo short. I also looked at regular shirts, so short sleeve and long sleeve. Sell through rate was 56%, which is pretty good. The price range was between $10 and $30, with most of them selling $15 to $20. This is a long sleeve muscle shirt that sold for $29.99. Here are a few examples of vintage t-shirts. So this is a orange muscle shirt. Then we have a warrior chief. These are some vintage t-shirt tags. They don't actually go with these items. Up next is sweaters. I was actually surprised to see that the sell through rate was only 33%. This research was done in March, so that means that for the last 90 days, and the sales for sweaters would have been at their peak. Prices ranged between $10 and $50, with most of the sales at $20 and $30. This cable net green sweater sold for $27, $8.30 shipping. And again, I have a few vintage examples. So this vintage tennis sweater went for $70, $10 shipping. And I have a cardigan here that sold for $25. This is a vintage wool sweater tag. And they also have a tag that says the big sweater on it too. Now looking at jackets, sell through rate is 52%, but the price range is much more promising. So you can see here, a lot of the sales are at least over $40. And we have a lot of sales in the 75 to 100 range. This is a winter jacket with heavy down and a fur trim, if you can see it up here. It sold for $160 in $14 shipping. Here are a few more examples. So we have a military jacket and we also have the classic Sherpa line jacket that zips up. This one sold for $70. The Sherpa jacket sold for $50. Here's an example of a tag for one of the Adirondack jackets. You can see on that bottom tag, it actually labels it. That one says sawtooth jacket. And let's take a look at the pants. So sell through rate is really high here compared to the other categories. This is 77% and price range is up there as well. So we have up to $75. Most of them around 30, but we do have a chunk that is selling in the 40 and $50 range. So I have an example here of some cargo pants with the bungee cord at the bottom. These sold for $49.99 and $9 shipping. Here's another example of a vintage item going for great money. This one sold for $120. This is a vintage heavyweight military cargo pants. And then I also have some regular chino pants here and they sold for 
So here's the chino tag and here is the cargo pants tag. What I found was that a lot of the vintage cargo pants for Abercrombie go for higher prices. So this is not a fluke, this actually happens often. The last category I'm gonna cover is hoodies. Sell through rate is 68%. The price range looks like it's pretty spread out but most of the sales are at $30. And this vintage hoodie sold at $28. I have a few other examples. This vintage yellow hoodie went for $60 and, and this chief hoodie went for $65. And you can see the vintage tags to the left. A lot of the vintage hoodies will have raised distress lettering or really nice patch. So in conclusion, Abercrombie pants, jeans, and hoodies have the fastest sell-through rates. I personally pick up this brand whenever I find it at the bins. Remember that button-ups and sweaters may take longer to move but could still give you a profit if you only spend a few dollars. Be on the lookout for the vintage items and those paratrooper cargo pants. Happy thrifting! As always, we hope this information was useful to you. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know which brands you would like us to research in future videos. Thanks for watching!